behind every dream realized. Darcy Lynn! There's a story of small beginnings and giant leaps. In the heart of Oklahoma City, a young girl with a puppet and a dream dared to reach for the stars. This is the story of Darcy Lynn Farmer, a shy girl who found her voice, quite literally, through the art of ventriloquism, and in doing so, captivated the hearts of millions. Born in October of 2004, Darcy Lynn Farmer was raised in a household filled with love and encouragement. The daughter of Clark and Misty Farmer, Darcy Lynn grew up alongside her three brothers, Nick, Nate, and Dalton. This supportive family environment would become the bedrock of her early development and future success. From a young age, Darcy displayed a keen interest in singing. However, her journey wasn't without challenges. She faced significant shyness, which initially held her back from fully embracing her love for performance. Her dad, Clark, encouraged her to sing for him around the house because he loved the sound of her voice. Determined to help their daughter, Clark and Misty encouraged Darcy to participate in talent-based pageants. This experience not only allowed Darcy to step out of her comfort zone, but also introduced her to the world of ventriloquism. One pageant in particular would alter the course of Darcy's life forever. At the age of six, Darcy was entered by her mother into the International Cinderella Scholarship Program. Darcy not only participated but triumphed, clinching the title of International Mini Miss 2013. It was during her participation in the International Cinderella Scholarship Program that Darcy met Laura Zabonaquisti a young ventriloquist and international team title holder who would play a pivotal role in inspiring Darcy to pursue ventriloquism. In the talent segment of the pageant, Larissa captivated the audience with her ventriloquism, featuring her puppets Lucy and Lucky. They performed an impressive act of yodeling and singing in three distinct voices, including Larissa's own. Darcy was utterly fascinated by Larissa's performance, and it sparked in her a desire to try ventriloquism herself. Eagerly approaching Larissa for guidance, Darcy received valuable advice on using certain words and techniques to speak without moving her mouth. Embracing her newfound passion, Darcy began practicing ventriloquism with the same dedication and rigor she had once applied to gymnastics, where she trained up to 30 hours a week. Darcy's determination to master ventriloquism was so strong that she started teaching herself to project her voice, practicing for weeks in front of a mirror long before she ever owned a puppet. Darcy, nine years old at the time, begged her parents for a puppet. Her mother, Misty Farmer, explained that although she and Darcy's father were their daughter's greatest supporters, they were initially skeptical about her interest in combining singing with ventriloquism. Moreover, they doubted she could balance ventriloquism with her school and gymnastics commitments. Despite their initial reservations, the farmers eventually relented. Moved by her dedication, they bought Darcy her first puppet, marking the beginning of a new chapter in her creative journey. But how does a young girl from Oklahoma find her way to the dazzling lights of one of America's biggest stages? Within just two weeks of getting her first puppet, Darcy was already performing in talent shows across her home state of Oklahoma. In 2014, Darcy entered Edmonds Got Talent in her hometown, performing with her yodeling puppet Katie. The performance not only earned her first place, but also a grand prize of $300. The performance also caught the eye of Gary Owen, a renowned ventriloquist coach. Impressed by her skill, 
Owen saw potential in Darcy and agreed to coach her, marking the start of her professional journey in ventriloquism, a path that would soon lead her to even larger stages. The next year, she won first place at Oklahoma's Got Talent. She also won Overall Entertainer of the Year at America's Kids in Branson, Missouri. As Darcy's confidence grew, so did her aspirations. In 2016, she made her first major television appearance with a performance on Little Big Shots. Host Steve Harvey also had a unique opportunity to dabble in ventriloquism, attempting the art with his own puppet. Hi, Katie. I'm supposed to look like Steve, but I ain't got no lips. <laughs> Encouraged by her growing success, Darcy Lynn, now 12, made the bold decision to audition for America's Got Talent. The choice was daunting. It meant stepping onto one of the biggest stages in the world, exposed to an audience of millions. For her audition, Darcy and her puppet Petunia performed an incredible rendition of Summertime by Ella Fitzgerald. The performance was so remarkable that it compelled Judge Mel B to hit the golden buzzer, allowing Darcy to bypass the judge cuts, sending her straight to the quarterfinals. The audition not only secured Darcy a place in the competition, it made her an instant sensation. Darcy's audition quickly went viral, setting a record as the most socially viewed video in the history of the show, within just 30 hours of its broadcast. This remarkable achievement was further underscored when her audition was named the fourth top trending video on YouTube in 2017. For her quarterfinal performance, Darcy and her shy stuttering mouse puppet Oscar gave a soulful rendition of Who's Loving You by the Jackson 5. It wasn't long before the crowd was on their feet. The performance received enough viewer votes to move on to the semifinals, where Darcy introduced viewers to her new puppet, Edna Dorkmacher. Together, Darcy and Edna delivered a captivating rendition of You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. During her semi-final performance, Darcy strategically positioned herself next to the judges. This placement allowed Edna to playfully flirt with Judge Simon Cowell. This clever interaction, combined with their exceptional performance, resonated with the audience. Once again, viewers showed their support by voting, successfully securing Darcy's place in the finals. Now the stage was set for a finale that would etch itself in the annals of America's Got Talent history. Darcy Lynn, with her enthralling blend of ventriloquism and singing, had captured the hearts of America. Competing against a range of talented performers, she delivered a masterful performance with her puppets Oscar and Petunia, singing with a little help from my friends. Well, just stand up and walk out on me. No. The performance was a masterful display of Darcy's evolution throughout the competition, showcasing not just her honed ventriloquism skills, but also her remarkable stage presence. The nation voted, with a staggering 52 million votes, the highest ever in the history of an America's Got Talent final. Darcy Lynn Farmer was declared the winner of the show's 12th season. At just 12 years old, she had etched her name in history as one of the youngest champions the show has ever seen. After her historic victory, Darcy Lynn graced the Ellen Show with her beloved puppet Petunia. They recreated their memorable audition, leaving the audience mesmerized. That Halloween, 
Darcy joined forces with renowned ventriloquist Jeff Dunham to create a delightful video. For those interested, this collaboration is available in its entirety on Dunham's YouTube channel. Silence! I treat you! <laughs> Darcy's next milestone was headlining a live show at the Planet Hollywood Resort in Las Vegas. The stage welcomed an impressive lineup, including Angelica Hale, the runner-up of season 12, comedian Preacher Lawson, and the dynamic dance group Light Balance. December 16, 2017, marked a heartwarming homecoming for Darcy at the Criterion in Oklahoma. The demand for tickets was unprecedented, selling out in a mere six minutes, prompting the addition of two extra shows due to popular demand. Her tours, fresh out of the box, and my lips are sealed, except when they're not, received overwhelming acclaim, with tickets selling out swiftly across the country. These are just some of Darcy's many achievements, but beyond the lights and applause, she has remained grounded. Her family and roots in Oklahoma kept her connected to what truly mattered. After winning season 12, Darcy explained she planned to use her prize money to buy her mama dishwasher and maybe a fridge. For herself, she wanted to get a puppy. Later in the year, Darcy announced at one of her performances that her mom would receive not just a new dishwasher, but an entire kitchen makeover from GE. Darcy also fulfilled her wish of getting a puppy, sharing her reaction on Instagram in January of 2018. Wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> In January 2019, Darcy Lynn returned to the AGT stage, this time as a contestant on America's Got Talent, The Champions. During the preliminaries, she performed a medley of Nutbush City Limits and Proud Mary with her puppet Oscar. The performance earned her a spot in the top three, but she did not receive enough votes to advance. However, Darcy was brought back as a wildcard for the finals, where she performed O Mio Babino Caro with Petunia. She made it to the final two, ultimately finishing as the runner-up behind card magician Shinlin. This month, Darcy once again returned to the AGT stage with her participation in America's Got Talent Fantasy League. Before her performance, Darcy aimed to showcase her evolution as a performer, referring to it as Darcy 2.0. While ventriloquism remained a key element of her act, she introduced an unexpected twist. During her performance, Darcy covered the Kiki D band's I've Got the Music in Me. In a surprising move, she left her puppet Petunia on stage to dance independently, while Darcy seamlessly alternated between singing in her own voice and voicing Petunia. The performance was good enough to advance to the next round. Now in the semifinal, Darcy is one step closer to winning it all. Do you think Darcy has what it takes to win America's Got Talent? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you for watching.